guys welcome back to my youtube channel so it's been a very long time since i've done a makeup video but for some reason <laughs> it's a highly requested one so i will do a skincare one separately because i'm aware that a lot of you want me to do one about what skincare i use but this is just going to be like my quick kind of like everyday makeup and um, obviously yes we are in a pandemic and we are in a lockdown so for some people they just don't want to put makeup on at the moment i don't wear it every day and that's absolutely fine but for me, it's like part of my routine and I just didn't actually enjoy wearing it and it makes me feel better. So let's get on with it. I've already prepped my skin and I'm just going to put my hairband on just to keep my hair out of the way. And then once I've done my foundation and that, we'll, uh, we'll get rid of it. So I've already prepped my skin with the Laura Mercier Primer. This is the Radiance Primer. Um, a lot of people comment on like glow that I have. Um, I think this definitely helps along with the skincare that I'm using at the moment. And then I just go straight in with my foundation. So I'm just gonna put my uh, makeup bag. <laughs> it's getting quite heavy. I think I've got a bit too many uh, things in here at the moment. So the foundation I'm using at the moment is NARS Sheer Glow Foundation. This foundation is absolutely amazing. I know a lot of bridal makeup artists use this. Um, obviously, I am no makeup artist. This is just what I like to shove on my face. Um, mine is Medium 3 Stromboli. Um, this is the foundation that I wear most days. It is probably my favourite at the moment. So I just put a little bit on with my fingers. So how are we all? How are we all doing? Are we doing okay? Obviously, it's a very uh, weird time at the moment, isn't it? We are currently transitioning the boys into their big boy beds. So they've been in their big boy beds now for, I don't know, has it been a week, two weeks? I don't even know, it's all blurring into one. So I probably look a little bit more tired. <laughs> than I normally would. Do you know what? It's actually going really well, so I shouldn't um, I shouldn't say that. Um, but they are waking up a little bit more in the evening. Um, but we've now got a bed bumper, and that's definitely helped. So last night they slept through totally. They were fine. And it is quite a weird thing to adjust to, I'd imagine, isn't it? I don't obviously remember doing it because I was too young. But yeah, it's, um, it's actually going quite well. So it's all good. Um, daytime naps hit and miss. They really, really need their naps still though because they just get so tired and they're like different children. So we're trying a few different things to see what works best for that. Um, some days they just don't nap at all. So it just depends. Um, but God, don't we know about it if they don't. So, right, I've just brushed all of my foundation in. I know some people like to dab, some people brush, some people use fingers. Um, this is just an iconic brush that I'm using here and then I try not to put too much on my under eye area because obviously for my age group um, it's just not great to have too much product underneath your eyes it can actually enhance your wrinkles and um, I have changed concealers recently so I've now changed to the Laura Mercier uh, Flawless Fusion Concealer. So this one is in number 1N. And I'm, I'm really liking it. I still really like the other one that I use all the time, the Maybelline Eraser. Um, but I do actually really, really like this. A lot of products that I've bought before have been too thick. And when you've got fine lines under your eyes, it just accentuates them and it just looks awful. So I just quickly dab some concealer on. Um, I've got a little tiny sponge that I just press it all in. Um, or sometimes I use my ring finger, does it really matter? So once that's on, I just quickly make sure it's all pressed in with my ring finger. And then I've also changed my powder. I am now using the NARS powder. This is their translucent light reflecting setting powder um, in crystal. So it just looks like that. Um, and I just get a quick sweep of that with my iconic brush. And anywhere where I get shiny, I'll just pop it on. Um, a lot of younger people obviously bake their under eye area. That is not good when you are kind of my age. <laughs> I'm not sure what age I would have stopped baking. You need to be pretty flawless to be able to bake. Um, so yeah, no, I'm not. <laughs> and now, in terms of bronzer, if I'm doing this for a, just like an everyday look, 
I tend to go with this one. This is absolutely gorgeous. And this is the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. Um, this, I would say, blows any mega, mega expensive bronzer out of the water. I love it. And it smells amazing. It smells of coconut. So whatever I can link, I'll link in the drop down box below. But uh, as you can see, <laughs> I really like it. I've tried a few different colours. Um, and so far, I think this one's probably my favourite. Um, I believe you can get it in places like Boots and stuff, um, but you can also get it on Amazon. I'd imagine um, a lot of us are using Amazon quite a lot at the moment. I'm very grateful that I'm a Prime member right now. <laughs> so, I just tend to... I don't contour, like, on a daily basis. I just tend to, like, just brush it over my face, and it just smells so nice. Um, obviously, try and match my uh, neck colour to my face. Did you ever do that at school? You used to have like a bright orange face and then a white neck. <laughs> it was never a good look, was it? <laughs> okay, and then what I use for just quick everyday makeup is the same brand, but in a butter blush. So this is uh, Natural Glow. And basically, it's like a highlighter and a blush in one. So as you can see, I am using that a lot at the moment. It's like a pinky peach colour, um, but it's it's just quicker than using a blusher and using a highlighter. So it still gives like a really, really nice sheen. So I tend to like pinky silvery ones the most, but this is more gold, so I just put a little bit on my nose and a little bit on my cheeks. Okay, then what I tend to do, um, if I fancy a little bit of eyeshadow, um, let's just get my eyeshadow brush, I use the bronzer. So I can't be bothered sometimes flitting in between different uh, eyeshadows and stuff. So if I'm just rushing, I'll just quickly whack a bit of bronzer on my eyes so it's just a really quick easy way of just making your eyes look a bit more made up so once that bit's done i tend to then do my eyebrows i think probably we all do stuff in different orders and i don't do it in the same order every day but i just make sure any of the powder and the foundation is out of my eyebrow and um, do have my eyebrows well, I say I do, I haven't had them done for ages now. I tend to just dye them myself. Um, but I used to get them microbladed um, or I would have different techniques done um, on my eyebrows, but I haven't had them done for absolutely ages. I've actually run out of the normal um, Benefit brow that I use. So I've just been using this at the moment, which is a tinted brow gel. and I've had it for ages. It's just by um, Natural Collection. Uh, and it's basically like a brush and it's just in brown and it just helps to define and fill and you know fix any part of your eyebrow that might be looking a little bit sparse so i just brush some of the product on very very lightly because it's quite strong it's got quite a dark pigment to it and then by using something like this you're brushing the brow as well as the adding colour so it's kind of like two in one so what I would do now um, is just quickly make sure with a clean brush that it's all blended in um, what I normally use is Benefit um, just like a brow pencil but I've run it out so I'm just trying to use what I've got at the moment. So that's filled in my eyebrow. Um, next, I would probably just stick some lip balm on. So this is a Burt's Bees lip balm. I've been using these lip balms for years. I tend to use Nivea or Burt's Bees lip balm. I get quite dry lips, so I like to apply that. That's a minty one. It smells really nice. Um, and then I've been using a new lip liner. This lip liner is really nice. Um, really reasonably priced. It's called Toast. Um, and who was it by? It's a Beauty Bay one. Um, I'll link it down below if I can. I'm pretty sure I'll be able to. But it's like um, a pinky fawn type colour. So let's just put that on. So 
lip liner makes such a big difference um, to what your lips look like. It makes them look so much bigger. Um, and then I've got the same lipstick in a colour called Pinch and a colour called Tea by the same brand. Tea, I absolutely love. I think that is so nice. Um, the other one is just slightly, slightly darker. So I tend to reach for tea more. Or the other two that I've been using at the moment, which I love, are one by um, Charlotte Tilbury, which is called Dance Floor Princess. Um, and this is like a kind of like, I don't know what I would call it, a brownie, a brownie nude. Um, and then I also really, really like this one, which is by Doll Beauty, and it's called FOMO, so fear of missing out. Um, this is a very, very pale nude, quite a neutral colour. And then the one I've been reaching for quite a lot at the moment is um, the Kim Kardashian West one for Charlotte Tilbury. So it's this lipstick here. This is kind of an in-between of all of those colours. It's kind of like just the perfect nude. So let's pop that on. I love that. I think that is so nice. Um, and then sometimes I finish it with some gloss. This is an iconic gloss, um, which has also got some lip balm in. Sometimes I don't. So it just depends what I'm in the mood for. Today I'm going to just leave it because I'm normally rushing. Um, and then I use the Benefit Roller Lash Mascara. This is the best mascara ever. I have used so many different mascaras. And it's probably one of the most common questions I get is what do I put on my eyelashes? Um, so I use these cheap little pink eyelash curlers uh, and then this mascara. So I'll go and do that. But I pull some funny faces when I'm doing that. So I'll do that to music as opposed to trying to talk. I There's a light inside your eyes You make me feel like I'm awake I Don't know why you make me shine Like a star on the sky I'm okay I so the final step I normally do is spray um, some prep set and glow or any type of like setting spray over my face I just find that that keeps you looking a bit more hydrated throughout the day um, and that is it so let me just sort my hair out a minute until midnight I'm just wondering where you at just thought I'd call and wish you good night Look. It doesn't really take that long. Obviously, normally I wouldn't be speaking to a camera. Any questions, guys, then just drop them in the comments box below. If you enjoy this type of video, do let me know. And I'd absolutely love it if you subscribed and stuck around for more videos. Thanks so much for watching. See you soon. Bye.